Cleaning supervisor Haryati has just received a notification that she needs to top up supplies. Customers can alert the cleaning team if stocks run out with an easy to use quick reference or QR code. This means fewer manual checks for Haryati, saving time that she can use for other parts of the job. Well, I'm doing this uh, all in my day life, uh, throughout my shift, uh, and it's useful to me as so. ISS Singapore, which provides cleaning services, sees technology as an important part of its future operations. Just on time saved on various cleaning tasks, one robot can do the work of one full-time employee. Technology and innovation helps to transform our ways of working, improve our overall response time to our customers at ground, and at the same time, uh, allow us to optimize efficiency for our operations overall. So with the labor crime situation, adoption of technology is a way for us to help to uh, supplement the overall workforce situation that we face right now. Labor issues were also one factor that Aloysius Chong considered when he started developing software and robots for the cleaning industry. We saw a problem in the industry, in, in the cleaning sector, because at that point of time, labour was hard to get. As it is today, it's actually even harder today. Uh, so, so in those days, we actually had two directions where we ventured. One was on robotics, cleaning robots. The other was on software. It didn't take Hariati long to learn how to use technology at work. It takes me a while, about a few hours, uh, maybe some, depends on individual, some is few hours, some is few days. At the Lee Kuan Yew Centre for Innovative Cities, a think tank, they're taking the process a step further. It's not just about moving from manual to high-tech gadgets. Jobs are being transformed or disrupted task by task and not skill by skill. We can use our task mapping tool and task mapping model to identify what tasks these cleaners can do, what tasks they do well, and of course, what tasks they like to do. If you can then redesign the job together with technology to make sure that the best of what people can do is complemented with the best of what technology can do, you're likely to get a more productive outcome uh, to the company as well as to the cleaners. Productivity aside, companies will also be thinking about the cost. First and foremost, for companies, usually they have a bottom line to watch. So that is the number one priority. So they have to be assured that whatever they're going to do is going to lead to a better bottom line. Then after you get past through to them, I think there are two, two things that happen. One is, of course, there's a group that's very receptive to what we do. And they agree with us, like, you no know, task, let's break it down and we're happy to work through with you. Where we sit down with the worker or the employee to map out what engages them, what doesn't engage them and so on. Some companies do see technology as a chance to rework jobs so that people can focus on what they do best. Technology does have an impact on bottom line due to the high outlay. Um, however, technology adoption is all about the right selection of the most appropriate solution that we can balance between cost and efficiency. So with the current situation, we will uh, always work with strategic partners that can help us with our business in, in creating the right solutions for the long term. In a ballpark, robotic solution, for example, for one robot, it ranges from between 50k to 75,000 for implementation. And at the end of that financial outlay, not every element of a job will be suitable for technology and automation. Robots are able to clean big spaces and corridors. They can't reach every nook and corner. But the time saved lets cleaners focus on high-touch points like door handles, lift buttons and toilets. Okay, in small spaces we need like a uh, human touch also. Like uh, some uh, small spaces uh, 
robots can't go in like tight small spaces so we need a, a human touch for the spaces to, to clean up. Changing toilet roll, brush, uh, main toilet, uh, changing soap and certain tight spaces we need to sweep. A robot in our minds are really glorified uh, cleaning equipment. Our robot in 2018 could take lifts on its own, could refill water by itself and clean the floor by itself. But one thing we realise with robots is, although they do the cleaning part well, they still require human assistance. So an auntie and uncle still needs to come push out the robot, manually activate it. So the next time you bump into a robot like this, just remember, it's high-tech with a human touch.